tapestry has found a way to put new opera on the stage which just works. They will create a wave that will finally bring modern opera to the surface. Opera is very risky, uh, and tapestry seems to be pretty bold and unafraid. Every other opera company in this country is doing um, Carmen's and Magic Flutes and uh, La Boheme's. It's fine to have one foot in sort of a quote-unquote traditional canon, but we live in a different world now. Every single show that we do has come from our world. It's come from Toronto, it's come from Vancouver, it's come from the kind of influences that we are experiencing right now. We need to have that in our society so that we can grow forward with music. It comes down to are we telling a human story, regardless of where or when that story comes from. I feel like it was this launch pad in so many ways for me. It was a real thrill to have Tom on the project and be part of a fully staged, fully realized um, opera that I'd been involved with from the very beginning. When I did Oxana G, I had such great process on that piece. normal girl. She's 18, just turning 18. And the story is about a young woman who is offered work, um, but the work is really just a ruse to get her into the clutches of traffickers. Everybody felt it so close to them, to their Hearts. I heard sobbing while I was on stage. Because I really wanted that piece to be gritty and real, the way movies are gritty and real. I wanted it to be an unsentimental look at the world, a realistic look at the world. That's when I understood that. That is why we're doing what we're doing. Tapestry means taking a risk. Um, it's the place to take risks. Uh, it's, it's part of the mandate. You have to shed a bit of uh, preconception you have to give up that part of you a little bit that says, I can't do this or this isn't the kind of music that I make. In Bandits in the Valley, I had to not only sing and act, but I had to play the piano and accompany the rest of the cast and lead the audience on a tour of the Todd Morden Mills while doing this. When you're integrated in tapestries, uh, performances, sometimes you forget that you're even in the audience because it's just it's so forward and everything comes to light and you're transported. When full-length operas are done at Tapestry, they're done really exceptionally well. We try, we try to strive to be with the times in whatever we do, whether that's Oksana or it's Rockin' Horse Winter, which is this incredibly distilled um, journey between a mother and the son who wants her love and the mother who won't, who can't see that her son just wants to love her and be loved. I 
did see the Rocky Horse winner, and I just loved that production. And I was so thrilled that it got the accolades and the uh, and all the awards that it won. I think that it totally deserved those things. And the Rocky was it five doors that we won and like yes. nominated for the most? Yep, nine, nine nominations. nominations. The most nominations. That's crazy. I think there's a, there's a nice renaissance right now where it's going back to um, what works from lyricism, what works from sort of post-romantic era. Let's bring all of that together and create completely fresh new works that people can understand but still be challenged by. And I think that new opera, writing about our current times, about what's going on in the world right now, can actually, if all goes well, change the way we think about the world. Every single production with tapestry, it's like there's no, <laughs> there's no uh, template for how to do it, right? Because it's never been done. <laughs>